What's up YouTube? Uh, today I was going to go over uh, photo mechanic and the workflow of it. Uh, how to make it a lot more smoother and faster for, for your sake. Um, so I how I learned it was through Scott Kelby. He had an article on his website um, and it was it was really good and he was open to uh, any ideas that would make it somewhat faster or uh, anything that can make it quicker. Uh, I believe I found a, a little bit of a faster way to do it. Um, normally what I would do is put the memory card inside the card reader, dump all, uh, drag the, the images into a folder on my uh, computer and wait for it to transfer. Uh, just to save you more time, uh, I found a way to where it can just automatically take, as soon as you plug it in, it'll just put all the images into Photo Mechanic, ingested, ready to go for you to caption and all of that. So let's go over how that works. So we have Photo Mechanic opened up. Uh, I got my memory cards right here, multiple memory cards. So if you're shooting with multiple camera bodies, it's, this works. It's 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 great. Got our card reader, and we're in Photo Mechanic. So let's go over the settings. So we have it on ingest discs over here. Um, auto ingest is turned on. You can have this on or off. I'm still trying to figure out um, which one I like better. I'll probably keep it on to copy the new photos only. Uh, but for this video, I'll leave it off because I've transferred these uh, the shots that are in the card already. But you can have that on if you want. The difference is if you want to keep your images on your memory card uh, from the game that you're shooting and just go through them yourself on your own free time instead of the deadline that you have, uh, you would keep it um, turned on so that it copies the new photos only. But if you just format your card after you're done transferring the images and you don't care to look at the images for yourself on your own time or you don't want them, you don't care, then you just turn it off. For the video, I'll turn it off just because, I've, like I said, I already I transferred the ones on the card on the computer already to test this. But So we'll leave that off. That's your choice. So ingest discs turned on, auto ingest turned on. And then over here, I have it set to locked photos only. For the video, I have to keep it off because the photos are not locked. But what that means is if you're shooting with the 1D series or I'm not sure what Nikon has, I believe it's just the D, you know, D1, 2, 3, 3S, 4, 4S series, uh, they have an option on the back of the camera where you can hit a lock button. And what that does is locks the image so that you can't delete it if you try to. And then for Photo Mechanic, it'll only transfer those locked images. So if you're shooting, say, baseball and you fo you're photographing the pitcher, you got a handful of shots of him pitching the ball, and you want just to send, obviously, one photo that's the good photo of him pitching, the best one you've got. Then you would just lock that photo, and then once you put your card in the card reader and ingest all the photos, the locked photos will only go in here. So I highly suggest doing that. That's the quickest way to do it, because uh, you want to make your chimping as uh, minimum as possible while shooting a game. You don't want to be looking at the back of your camera the whole time. So being quick about it in between plays, whatever sport you're shooting, you want to look at the camera, go through the photos, and just lock all the good ones and keep shooting. Don't even worry about deleting the other ones or any of that. It makes it so much quicker. Uh, then you want to, it's, this just depends if you shoot raw or JPEG. I personally shoot raw, so I have raw photos only uh, set. And then I got to turn this off for the video. And yeah, because the photos are not locked. And that's pretty much it. This is the settings that will make it really quick. So let's give it a test. So got our card reader, got our memory card. Let's put the first card in and watch it ingest. The second, I think I have to redo that. Hold on, sorry. So I had that whole menu popped up. Okay. There's our photos for the first card. Take this one out after we eject it. If you're using Mac, it gets all upset that you don't eject properly. Next one. And there we go. I only have a few shots in there, but you get the idea. So it just quickly just ingests everything. You go in the info on the uh, images, has all the caption stuff ready to go, and then it's, it's a black picture. It just took a quick shot. So let's just say, um, let's put... I don't know any numbers for the New York Mets. There we go. New York Mets, uh, first baseman, Josh Satan, 13. Uh, I'm just going to put pitches during you know the game between so-and-so. And, so. and you go down here if you need to put in the bracket info. Yeah, and then go to save, next one, and you just keep going. 
keep going. And then once you're done, uh, then you just hit Command, e, uh, Command A to highlight all the ones because it's only going to transfer the locked ones. So essentially what you're doing is you're tagging the photos in your camera. So that saves you the trouble of dumping all your images on Photo Mechanic and having to go through them and, you know, highlight them, hit T to tag and keep going, keep going through them. There's a bunch of images. It just makes it much quicker. You're getting a lot of the post-process stuff that you would normally do on your computer done in the camera because you're tagging them by locking them. So that makes it really quick. Um, so that way you don't have to go here. You, when you have all your images here, then you tag the ones you want, and then you go here, and you go to tag, and then it shows the tag ones. No, you don't have to do any of that. All you do with Photo Mechanic is you dump them all, all the locked ones in there, and then you uh, just caption those ones because it's already got the locked ones essentially in there already. And then you hit Command A to highlight all those ones, and then Command E, and it takes you into Photoshop or Camera Raw, if, in my case. And then you just edit them, uh, crop them, and resize them, and do whatever you gotta do, and then you save the images, save it however the quality they want, save it to the uh, folder that you want. Once you're done with that, hit done, and it saves them. And then you go over here to wherever you had uh, Photoshop save the images to. I have them save the CSM. There it'll be in here, and then you opened up uh, FileZilla or whatever FTP server you're using and drag them in the server and you're done. So let's just go over that again, make it real brief. So it's set to ingest disks only. So when you plug in the uh, memory card, it'll ingest it. Auto ingest, so once the moment you plug it in, you don't have to hit Command G and go in here and hit ingest, it just does it automatically as soon as it sees the memory card is plugged in. Um, and then the incremental ingest is up to you. If you want to save the images for later and want to view them, you would have it uh, turned on so you keep the images on the card still and it will only transfer the new ones that you've been shooting and locking. And then copy unlocked photos only. Well, that was for the video. Copy locked photos only is what you want if you're locking the images. And then uh, RAR JPEG. And then that's it. You plug it in. It puts them all in there. You don't have to tag anything. And then you just go in here in the eye and caption everything that you need to do and then once you're done with that command a highlights them all command e opens up photoshop edit them resize them save them save them to the folder go in the folder put them all inside the uh, ftp server you need to send them to so that's it i hope this video helped you guys out i know everybody has their different workflow and some people may not like this but uh, I'm open up to any suggestions that will make it quicker if there's a better way to do it um, as far as i understand and from what i've been doing this seems to be the quickest and most efficient way to get it done. I tried it out last night and I sent the photos just like that way more quicker. Normally it takes me about, uh, depending on how many images I get, what I'm sending. Say I got like 20 images, it would take me about 10, 15 minutes, it depends. But it's, it's pretty quick. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks guys. See you later.